In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we hear about the Israelites' crossing of the Red Sea, consider their reactions when they saw Pharaoh's army approaching, and think about times when you have felt trapped or overwhelmed by circumstances. How did you respond? The Israelites expressed fear and complained to Moses. Have you ever found yourself reacting similarly during challenging times? How can we cultivate trust in God's provision and faithfulness during moments of uncertainty? Do you take comfort in hearing how God helped the Israelites even when they complained, even when they did not fully trust in God? In times of distress, in times of doubt, we can take comfort in knowing that Christ, like Moses with the Israelites, makes up for our shortcomings and mediates with the Father. Christ came down to be perfect for us, to trust for us, to die for us. We can rely on the merits of Jesus and know that God will provide, that God is faithful. We need only to move forward and God will provide the way. A reading from the book of Exodus. When the king of Egypt was told that the people had escaped, he got his war chariot and his army ready. When the Israelites saw the king and his army marching against them, they were terrified and cried out to the Lord for help. They said to Moses, Weren't there any graves in Egypt? Did you have to bring us out here to die in the desert? Look what you have done to us by bringing us out of Egypt. Didn't we tell you before we left that this would happen? We told you to leave us alone. Let us go on being slaves of the Egyptians. It would be better to be slaves there than to die here in the desert. Moses answered, Don't be afraid. Stand your ground. You will see what the Lord will do to save you today. You will never see these Egyptians again. The Lord will fight for you. The Lord said to Moses, Tell the people to move forward. Lift up your walking stick and hold it out over the sea. The water will divide and the Israelites will be able to walk through the sea on dry ground. I will make the Egyptians so stubborn that they will go after them, and I will gain honor by my victory over the king, his army, his chariots, and his drivers. When I defeat them, the Egyptians will know that I am the Lord. Moses held out his hand over the sea, and the Lord drove the sea back with a strong east wind. It blew all night and turned the sea into dry land. The water was divided, and the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground, with walls of water on both sides. The Egyptians pursued them and went after them into the sea with all their horses, chariots, and drivers. The wheels of the chariots got stuck, so that they moved with great difficulty. The Egyptians said, The Lord is fighting for the Israelites against us. Let's get out of here. The water returned and covered the chariots, the drivers, and all the Egyptian army, that had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not one of them was left, but the Israelites walked through the sea on dry ground, with walls of water on both sides. On that day the Lord saved the people of Israel from the Egyptians. The Israelites saw the great power with which the Lord had defeated the Egyptians. They stood in awe of the Lord, and they had faith in the Lord and in his servant Moses. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we confess that there are times in our lives when we feel trapped and overwhelmed by the challenges that surround us. Fear grips our hearts and doubt clouds our vision, causing us to falter, complain, and even sin. Yet in the midst of our uncertainty, we turn to you, our Savior and God. Grant us the grace to trust in your unfailing love and providence, even when the path ahead appears daunting and uncertain. Help us to step out in faith, knowing that you are with us every step of the way. Just as you led the Israelites through the waters of the Red Sea to safety, guide us through the tumultuous seas of life towards the shores of your peace and salvation. Strengthen our resolve, O Lord, and embolden our hearts to move forward with confidence knowing that you are always by our side. Amen.